Hello, my name is Ryan from Desco Coatings and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about polished concrete maintenance and how to take care of your floors. So polished concrete is a very resilient floor system. It has a lot of strengths and is a very durable floor system. That being said, it's really important to maintain the floor on a regular basis. When we talk about maintaining a floor, we're typically talking about removing any dirt, grime, spills, anything that could be act as an abrasive on the floor. Anytime you get sand, grit, debris on the floor and you rub it, you wear it, that acts as sandpaper and can deteriorate the finish faster than other means. The other risk is spills. Uh, so there's two types of spills that we're concerned about with polished concrete floors, reactive spills and penetrating spills. Reactive spills are typically with acids, things like orange juice, vinegar, other acidic products which will actually etch the concrete if left over time. The other is penetrating spills which can penetrate into the surface of the concrete and leave a mark at the end. Both of those spills can be protected against by cleaning the floor on a regular basis and cleaning spills as soon as they happen. The floor does have a sealer on it. That being said, leaving spills for an extended period of time increases the risk that those spills will be Keeping the floors clean is essential to protecting the polished concrete floor. To do that, remove any large debris such as sand, dirt, and other debris uh, such as garbage and refuse from the floor by sweeping, dry sweeping, and remove any additional contaminants by using a wet mop or other cleaning product. Do not apply any sealers or waxes to the floor. Do not use ammonia, bleach, mop and glow, pine saw, Lysol, or any other citrus-based products. Those have a negative, uh, a lower pH, which is acidic, and that will etch the floor. Use a pH neutral cleaner to make sure that that way you're not gonna etch the floor or something slightly basic. Never use a Swiffer WebJet type cleaning tool. That is an acidic product and it can etch the floor. At the entryways of a school, you have walk-off mats that are integral into the floor system, but it's important to keep those clean and consider using additional walk-off matting if you notice that dirt, debris, and grime is being tracked in beyond those walk-off mats. Walk-off mats should be cleaned on a regular basis, again, to remove any dirt, debris, and grime. If it's excessively wet outside, you may need even additional walk-off mats to remove any water from people's footwear. If you notice that a lot of wet footprints are getting into the space, consider increasing more walk-off mats. Prevent scratches by using felt pads on the bottom of furniture. Dragging any sharp point loads across the floor can scratch the surface. Using soft surfaces does help to eliminate the risk of scratching or soft urethane wheels, but anytime you drag something back and forth over top of the a polished surface or any floor surface, you do run the risk of scratching the floor. Use hard surface chair and desk mats under rolling office chairs and desks to prevent any damage to polished concrete floors. While this may not be possible for every desk at the school, consider it for some of the larger areas such as by the teacher's desks or in other commonly used areas on polished concrete. Tape must be applied to polished concrete floor. It should only be painter's tape and not left for a period of time. Do not leave tape on the floor for an extended period of time because it may leave a shadow on the floor. Additionally, adhesives may leave marks on the floor if other kinds of tape are used, such as duct tape or scotch tape. Do not place potted plants directly on the surface of polished concrete floors. Use a plant dolly or plant stand underneath to prevent moisture from becoming trapped underneath the plant pot. You could also have a mineral deposit from the plants themselves as the water leaks out of the plant pot. Do not place rubber back mats on any decorative floor surface system. If there's any moisture coming up through the concrete slab, that'll be trapped by the rubber back mats and that could lead to staining issue. So for a cleaning schedule, typically we recommend um, using a microfiber mop 
or uh, a broom or some other kind of dry mop system to clean the floor daily. You may also need to use a wet mop daily as well, just to remove any spills, dust, grime. On an annual basis, or perhaps sooner, you may need to consider reburnishing the floor. Typically what that is, is just using the last polishing step to enhance the gloss of the floor. This is typically completed over a weekend or during a meeting. At that time, when we do the burnish, typically we'll also apply a new coat of sealant help to help to protect the floor. If you're unsure about if your floor needs to be reburnished or to make sure that your maintenance program is effective, please call us. We're happy to come and do testing to ensure that your floor is meeting the standards it was finished up to during the construction process. Thank you again for choosing Desco as your polished concrete flooring provider. Again, if you have any questions with your floor at any time, whether you're concerned about the cleaning frequency, the products being used, or how your floor is turning out over a period of time, please give us a call. Thank you again.